Now we go to Kaylin Seal with the bounce. The bounce. Covering your 2006 CCAA Women's Basketball Nationals. Your ticket to what's going on behind the scenes of the tournament. Sends it down low. Smith puts it up. That's missed. The second year broadcast journalism students present. The Bounce. Hello and welcome to The Bounce. The daily beat that keeps you online fans up to date with what's going on off the court during the Women's Nationals. I'm your host, Kaylin Steele. Today we're going to take a look at where the teams were headed with their smiling faces yesterday. Shanna Dustin has more. The teams playing in this year's CCAA Women's Nationals were all smiles as they posed for pictures. The thought of winning a gold medal was probably on most of the players' minds. That thought was motivation enough for each of the teams to put their best face forward and capture a great photo to go along with that medal. Of course, a great picture doesn't just depend on who's in front of the camera, it's also the person behind it. Rob Ganzeveld owns and operates his own sports photography company. We had submitted a, a proposal to the college and were chosen to supply team pictures and uh, pictures for the CCAA and also action photos during the games um, throughout the weekend. The LCC Kodiaks have been a part of college basketball history for many years. This year's team is adding to that history, and the girls agree that there is a deeper meaning to team pictures. Well, it's something that you'll always remember, just the team and how you all achieved it together and stuff, just being here and stuff. I just think that it just like being here at Nationals, having the picture, just like it's something to hold on to and look back to, like something you can hold on and be like, yeah, like look at the girls that was on your team. And, Everyone that you're at Nationals with means a lot. All team photos and action shots from the games are available for viewing and sale just outside the gym. Shanna Dustin, The Bounce. After the photos were taken, it was a sea of prizes. The pep rally that the Students Association organized was fun for everyone. 743, problem number 743. Who's got that ticket? Before the first official game, the Lethbridge Community College Students Association tried to get their students geared up for nationals. The pep rally was in support of the Kodiak, who played their first game later that night. Tons of prizes such as corner pocket coupons, t-shirts, and booster juice smoothies were given to students who showed their support. Newly elected SA President John Hill organized the event. It really kind of ignited me. I really wanted to start, you know, building that school spirit that I was talking about before, and I wanted to do it right away. Now, you know, the turnout, it was great, because I think those were, you know, the most amount of people we've had in the stands to, uh, to date for this year. Um, but you know what? That's the whole thing. It's just slowly starting to put it into their mind. We had enthusiasm, and we had people coming in, and now we know that people actually know what's going on this weekend. And I think that's the main thing, is just getting that out there. The LCCSA gave away over $1,000 worth of prizes. When an event as big as the Women's Nationals hits town, it takes an entire community to put everything together. Callista Mason ventured behind the scenes and caught up with some volunteers. While all eyes are on the game this weekend, close to 100 people will be busy taking care of everything from snacks to souvenirs. There's also team photos to be taken, live webcasts being produced, and of course teams to show around. I am their host actually for, uh, for the team and just making sure they know where they're going and what they're doing and uh, if they have any questions they can come and ask me and I try to take care of them as best as I can for them. Many students are taking time out from class to help at the tournament but you certainly won't hear them complain. I think any volunteer experience there's always something to take with this. Uh, with this one you learn you know kind of how to be outgoing, how to talk to different people and you get to overall see how a national tournament is run. I'm learning the whole PR approach, talking to people, making sure that they're comfortable, making sure that they're comfortable with me, make, you know, knowing what they're doing. Um, also being able to ask questions and having them ask questions to me and be, me, if not knowing the answer, going and finding it out for them and uh, just, just getting to be a little bit more comfortable in doing that role. For The Bounce, I'm Calista Mason. Volunteers will be recognizable by the red t-shirts that they're wearing. 
coaches visiting the college got some valuable information on techniques they can use to motivate and inspire their players. Brian Anderson has the story. 25 coaches from here in Alberta and from as far away as Quebec got to take part in a coaches clinic here at the college Thursday morning. The clinic took place in the Sunflower Room, where a few presenters instructed the coaches on ways to understand their players better. Don Keith is the organizer of the event. Our first session was on mental training with Jennifer Spurtle, and I think that there was a lot of really good key things that hit home to coaches, and some things that people can use to better prepare their athletes and uh, understand their athletes. And I hope that uh, the tools that Jennifer gave in, in her first session here will be really helpful for coaches for further, furthering their careers. So what do the coaches hope to get out of all this? Whenever you get a bunch of coaches together and you exchange information, um, every, every speaker will give you one idea that will make your, your program a little bit better. And, and I think that the real benefit is that I feel better about coaching because I feel a little bit more confident in what, in what I'm doing with the kids. Just to bring a lot of... Uh, different training techniques back to my players so that they can perform at their best because the whole idea behind why I coach is not to just prepare them to win on the court but off the court too. So I'm just looking for learning stuff on mental training and just the different things that they have to offer with regards to like um, physiology for younger athletes and stuff like that. So The coaches will now hope to use the knowledge gained at this clinic to help their players reach their maximum potential. For The Bounce, I'm Brian Anderson. Careful planning and timeliness made the 2006 Nationals opening ceremonies go off without a hitch. Here's more. The opening ceremonies got underway with a welcoming message from the CCAA's Executive VP of Programming. You uh, certainly deserve uh, a lot of credit for being here. I hope you have a great week. You make lots of memories for yourself, long-time memories, and uh, enjoy your time in Lethbridge. All the teams marched to the sound of bagpipes and proudly held team signs. After the national anthem, Lethbridge as a city and LCC as a host school formally welcomed the seven guest teams to Southern Alberta. When you go home, tell people Lethbridge is the most exciting small city in Canada. Thank you, have a good time. And we know how tough it is to balance athletics and academics, and so this is truly a really uh, wonderful group of students that we have here in front of us. And I think that you'll find in the course of your lifetime that the commitment and dedication learned through this process will help you be successful in, in whatever you choose to do. Tim Tolstrup also reminisced about a former Kodiak player and coach who lost his battle with cancer just a few weeks before Nationals. We feel that Johnny J had a, a, an opportunity to raise that level here at LCC and did a very good job of doing that. The young women athletes paraded out and it was on with the show as two teams prepared to take the court shortly after. There has been a scholarship fund set up to honor a late past Kodiak who was remembered at the opening ceremonies. The Johnny J scholarship was started by an anonymous donation and men and women basketball players are eligible. That's, That's all for today on The Bounce. Bounce. Tomorrow's show will be jam-packed with crowd enthusiasm and excited fans, something you won't want to miss. See you tomorrow on The Bounce. I'm Kaylee Steele. The Bounce. Thanks, Kaylin. Ryan and Patrick are standing by to get the second half started. Ryan, it's been a pretty intense first half. was a very intense first half. So Patrick, things started off a little bit slowly, a lot of whistles, a lot of fouls, but later on in the half, things picked up, especially in the final three seconds. Because of the great defensive pressure by both teams, and as you mentioned, that huge shot with only a few seconds left, a three-point shot that brought this game to within four. Now, what do the Cougars have to do to get their offensive game going in the second half. They've been playing tight defensively, but how are they gonna get it going? Well, they're not, they're gonna have trouble down low. They've had trouble all game there, so they're gonna have to just try and make that first initial shot. They're gonna have to move around quickly, open up, 
get some room and hopefully get that first shot to go.